What is going on guys? Dan C. Bearded here. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher and today I'm going to break down gray beard hairs. What causes them? Why are they different? What are they in general? And some tips and tricks on what you can do to help tame and style them. I think that's the perfect day. I'm not having my best beard day ever today. And I think a lot of people with gray beard hairs can relate because they are a little bit more challenging for many reasons. And we'll go over all of that. All of my information today is first and foremost through research, weeks and weeks of research. Secondly, through talking to fellows that have gray beard experience. And then myself, I do have some gray beards in here. I have a cornucopia of colors, but I do have some major areas like right here. I have over a hundred gray hairs that are making up the my right side of my chin. And so I do understand on a small sample size the differences there, but a lot of you have even more experience. But I really think my information and that research will come in handy for you guys. So stay tuned if you guys want to learn some more about gray beard hairs. What? What are gray beard hairs exactly? Well, at the base of your hair, you have a follicle, and that follicle has cells that are going to create the pigment of your hair. That pigment is called melanin. If those cells are damaged and no longer creating the pigment and the melanin, and the melanin is the same thing that gives your hair color as it is your skin. When you tan, you get more melanin in your skin. Now, when those cells die and are no longer producing those two things, you now have gray hairs. Pretty simple. Cause. What causes your beard hairs to turn gray? Is it the ex-wife that's driving you crazy? Is it money issues? Is it a stressful job or stress in general? Not really. That's actually kind of a myth. Maybe indirectly, stress will cause your hair to fall out three to five times faster. And there are some studies and some signs that with your hair falling out more often, it can damage that follicle and of course, if we have damage to the follicle, you're gonna have some damage and get some gray hair. But stress does not directly turn the color gray. What is gonna turn those hairs gray? DNA mainly, something you cannot control. If your father grayed at an early age, you are likely gonna do that. Now there's some more outside factors that can play a role here too, like sickness, like trauma. If you get a burn on a spot, that's likely going to damage those cells and create no pigment or no melanin in there. And then another huge one that causes gray is smoking. And a lot of times when you have smoking, you're damaging those cells, but it's also going to look more silver than gray. So a lot of times when you hear about the silver fox, a lot of times those guys are smokers. So really, nothing to worry about here. You're not going to be able to control it outside of being sick and smoking or having trauma. It's mainly in your DNA. You got what you got. Ride it out. Make the best out of it. Be proud of it. Different. Why are gray hairs so different? Why do they stick out from the pack and seem like they're just the loose kids on the block? Well, the outside layer of your hair is called your cuticle and it is thinner. That's why a lot of times your hair is gonna feel more brittle, it's gonna feel more rough, feel like it's just a different texture, because it is. It also does not hold water as well. So when you're consuming water and you have gray hair, it's not keeping it in as well. It doesn't absorb the conditioner, it doesn't wash as well. There's all sorts of problems because on the DNA, on the cellular level, it is different. Don't worry though, I have some tips and some tricks that are going to help you be able to solve that puzzle of gray hairs. Help. The most important segment. Why you came here. You want to get the info, but what can you do to help? Well, first off, you want to be able to seal those hairs in. The first thing that you can do is have the deep conditioning or moisturizing treatments. There's tons of videos on YouTube. Look up beard deep moisturizing. A lot of times it involves a co-wash, coconut oil, heat, a bag, and applying it overnight. Check those out. Another thing you want to look for is castor oil based oils. What that castor oil is going to do is going to seal your beard in and then it'll feel more like it is a non-gray hair. It's going to feel like it has that thicker outer layer for a cuticle. 
Another trick that I've talked to guys about that works really well for gray hairs is comb your beard up and out and then finish down with your hand. That's gonna give you that Velcro impact and be able to keep your beard down. Another great option, of course, is gonna be natural beard wax. That wax will contain your gray hairs and a lot of guys are looking to go with that. But my final, the biggest tip is let it grow. Let length and gravity help those hairs. When you see a guy with a nice, beautiful, long gray beard, you know that there's no flyaways or stragglers. The main reason, gravity and length are helping keep it down. The shorter the beard with gray hairs, the more problems you're gonna have. If you let it grow, it will take care of itself and it will love to lay down. Those thin hairs wanna lay down more than a thick beard or thick hairs any day. So the number one tip, let it grow, let gravity be your friend there. If not, castor oil, wax, deep conditioning, using your hands as tools, all of those are gonna help you trim away the flyaways as you go. That is how you can help the style and health of your gray hairs. Final thoughts on gray beard hairs. Overall guys, embrace it. It is likely nothing that you can control with your DNA and we love all colored hairs in the beard world. The gray hair is coveted. That is a sign of pride. It is beautiful. Be happy that you have that, that distinguished, beautiful look. Now, I hope some of the tips and tricks helped you guys out. Maybe I cleared up some misconceptions for you guys and gave you some real information in there. I am embracing all these gray hairs that I can get, and I'm loving them. Now, question to leave you guys with. Do you have any gray hairs? Are you excited for gray hairs? And then most importantly, do you have any tips and tricks that I didn't cover that you think could help somebody out with gray hairs? Maybe I covered them and you're like, yes, that one is exactly what I do and it works really well. Or you got something else out there. Please throw it down in the comments. If you guys ever see comments that you enjoy or you think help somebody out, put a thumbs up on their comment. That's gonna let more people see it. It's gonna rise to the top of the comments and then we can get that interaction going with the community. This is not just a one-way street. We have that Socratic seminar. We have that discussion that is led by all of you guys and myself, especially in this category where a lot of you have more gray hairs than I do. Please pitch it in there, keep it positive, keep it amazing, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. So rock those grays, guys. Be proud of it, enjoy it, stay bearded, and of course, stay positive.